reactions to her wardrobe mishap during her performance at Willie Nelson's 4th of July picnic earlier this month were shared by Marin Morris, the 34-year-old singer of Chasing After You, who just released a song about vowing never to fall in love again, made light of the situation on TikTok on Wednesday. The singer was seen performing the middle on stage in a now viral TikTok video. She was wearing a denim skirt with a bold thigh-high split on the left side, and she was occasionally revealing her underwear to the audience. Morris swiftly recorded a selfie video inside a car and uploaded her own reel in response to the footage. Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion's song, WAP, was playing in the background when she added the text. Hey guys, did anything weird happen today? I guess I'll frame the skirt. Marin joked to her fans in the post that went with the little video. Anyway, stream intermission May 2nd, which appeared towards the bottom of the video, alluded to her upcoming five-song project called Intermission. She moved her head away slightly at the very end. She also answered a fan who commented. Only appropriate response. Right away in the comment area. Like I've given birth, Morris continued. I'm no longer embarrassed by anything. The celebrity and her ex-husband Ryan Heard had their son, Hayes, for, in March 2020. Morris's answer to the wardrobe malfunction was praised by other social media users. One person wrote. The skirt was a sleigh. This response is a sleigh. Marin is always a sleigh, another fan said. The queen is unbothered. And another said. I love you even more for this, you absolute legend. During the 4th of July performance, the mother of one not only wore the denim skirt but also a black crop top. She added a bold pair of earrings and a large bracelet to her left wrist to complete the ensemble. Marin has been busy getting ready for the publication of her latest five-track EP, Intermission which is scheduled to be released on August 2nd of next month. Cut, a song featuring Julia Michaels, is one of the ones that was released on June 21st of last month. Songs from her previous album, Humble Quest, which was released in 2022, including Circles Around This Town. Morris gushed that accepting the 2024 Billboard Visionary Award was an honor, but that he doesn't really consider myself a visionary. Earlier this year in March, I simply enjoy receiving a trophy for my delusions and visions because I have them. To put it mildly, but this year has been a lot, and the women in my life have really rallied around me and kept me upright. To put it plainly, this is my favorite thing about women, and without them, I could not have made it through the previous year of my life. Marin married fellow vocalist Ryan Hurd in 2018. However, in October 2023, she filed for divorce. After a settlement was reached, their divorce was completed in January. In an interview with Billboard at the time, she also talked candidly about finding inner peace and joy. I wish I didn't have to struggle with it as much. Not that I'm very proud of myself, but sometimes I wish I could simply stick my head in the sand and enjoy my privilege, but I don't want to do that. I wish I didn't have such a pounding heartbeat for the suffering of the world. That's not how I want to live. However, she continued, I believe I'm letting go of having everyone around me put their feet to the fire. I can only put my attention on myself and surround myself with like-minded individuals. I want this year to be about my own happiness, becoming a better human, mother, boss, writer, and all the things. Marin went on. Morris came out as bisexual last month in June, six months after her and Hurd's divorce was finalized. After a concert in Phoenix, Arizona, she immediately went to her regular Instagram page and said, Phoenix, Arizona happy to be the B in LGBTQ plus happy pride. I hope I never fall in love, which Marin released on July 12th, was inspired by something, and she talked about it. Having recently gone through a major breakup, it's pretty self-explanatory from the title. She said in a video that was posted to Instagram, I just want to lean into the situationship of it all and not want to go down that path again. The speaker said, I can't wait to perform the chorus live with everyone, and you get to scream it.